That belongs in a museum. Uh, like outside of Innervate, of course, making you want to slam your, your head to the desk. Um, you know, you do, there's not really many ways for Druid to really manipulate stuff outside of mulch uh, and to report it. Interesting. Chooses to go for the two damage on the 3-3, three, three, despite it, you know, not affecting the breakpoints on the trade into the 4-6, but I guess that's just enforcing Eloise to trade it. So, you know, essentially you're just threatening it to get swiped next turn or hero-powered next turn. So by shooting the 2 damage into the 3-3, three, three, you kind of obligate her to send it into the 4-6, the four six, regardless of what sure. else she wants to do with her turn. I also partially think that maybe Chaco's playing to play Cthulhu next turn, so they just buffs it Also as well, very possible. And then just, you know, might as well rush her. Right, right, I like, <laughs> the, I like the Cthulhu rush. <laughs> yeah, I like I like the play of playing the 2-1 that turn. It's yeah. just a matter of like where he sent the damage, right? He could have shot face because yeah, the, yeah, the damage yeah, on yeah. the 3-3 three, three wasn't true. too relevant. That's true. Hmm. It is the force that way. So, how big is the Cthune? It's at least a 10-10, from what I remember. I don't know if he's playing anything besides the Cthune's Chosen. I think it's just Cthune's Chosen. And so, if he yeah. sends 6 into the Ysera, he has to, 4 out of 10 have to hit. Or, sorry, 6 out of 10 has to hit Ysera, and that's not very likely, I think. It is not. Um, so, it looks like the possible line is playing the Arakoa just to get plus 2, plus 2, and then hoping that you have a more uh, beneficial clear on the Ysera on the following turn. Yeah. The potential problem with that is that um, Eloise gets to develop more minions or play more removal alongside this next turn. So it looks like Chucky might be preemptively trading the damage into the Acera, at least from the 2 1. So, yeah, this makes some sense because I was going to say, like, Eloise gets to just play removal here or develop a bigger board, which makes your Cthulhu even more awkward on the following turn. So I like Chucky throwing in some of that damage preemptively because he knows he's not quite there in terms of pushing lethal, so he knows this Acera is a threat that he has to deal with at some point. Cenarius comes down for the two taunts, which lines up perfectly for the spell power swipe. That's quite amazing, man. That's a that's ridiculous. Spell power swipe on the Yasera to clear the, the, the two tree yep. and taunt and the Yasera. Uh, you don't you don't clear the scenarios, but that's okay because you can just push with the, the the damage and then use Cthulhu to threaten to end the game. Right. That was a big swing, and that doesn't really. Oh. <laughs> well, I was like, there's not many ways you can come back from that, but definitely is one of them. Yeah, you you know that cost here. Although I think that means Eloise might be doomed to die. Yeah, I think she is almost certainly it's dead. She can dead. develop six health onto the board. The Cthune is at least a 12-12, so it goes back 13. up to six health. Yeah, is it 14-14 now? I okay. think it's 13. 13. Oh, 13, 13. Because the Dark Arrow is a little bit weird. I think it gives oh, it's plus three, plus three. Right, right, yeah. So that's a guaranteed lethal. Uh, and I don't know if... El uh, you, know, you don't really play as if Cthune is in the hand, but, you know, a great finish here from Chaki. And overall, the big swing back and forth through some of those swipes and those removals mm -hmm. ended up being the, the key to win the game.